Hi guys, it's Johnny from Kalpanik Games. Uh, today we're going to discuss about functions and welcome back to the series of introduction to programming and Unity over here. Uh, so we're going to talk about functions today. So what is functions? Uh, functions in an easy way is to define. It's just a thing that uh, our method is called that uh, makes all the particular code block inside a bracket and it groups them together right and it makes our your life easier because it makes you the coding debuggable and you can find errors pretty much faster if you didn't use functions so that's the use of functions and now let us see in practice okay as like before i made an empty game object and renamed it to functions and also created a function script over here so that's why and uh, I thought that this is going to save, uh, save you some time so that's why I did that uh, instead of always creating from start okay so let us open that and see what's what we're doing over here okay so right off the bat you see something like uh, start it is already you're already using a functions by using things inside start uh, start is an inbuilt unity inherited function We'll talk about inheritance functions and inheritance in general later on the series, but for now you, you, have, you know this is a, you are already using a function, okay? Now let us disable that, okay? Disable that by mean, meaning I'm commenting it out and comment this, uh, uncomment that, okay? Now we're going to do over here and uncomment that, okay? So this is a, I have assigned a function named calculate two numbers because that's what we're doing over it here. And just to uh, make you over here, we can do it in under the start two, say float a equals to two, then float b equals to three, okay, then float c equals to c equals to sum of a plus b and then we do debug dot log like just like last time okay just like last time you put like uh, a plus b is equals to plus c okay all right so that's what you get and over here that's good and we can come and just it back again so just to, for testing purposes okay now we go back to unity before that do not always save your code always save your code is saved okay go back to unity and press play and you will see that a plus b equals to 15 uh, it shouldn't be like that let's see what we did over here developer log okay we need to uh, comment that out okay and yeah so now we'll get the result of this i believe okay since we are not putting that now we're going to go and back to unity let it reload all right now we get five okay so that's what is given but uh, if you want to make your life easier suppose you are supposed to call that particular thing in 10 different places 15 different places uh, that would be not very convenient for you right so this is where functions come in we can just delete that or just comment it out okay so comment it out and then comment that uncomment this and we i already specified a function over here uh, since we're calculating two numbers i made it a make it a gave it a name that makes sense which is calculate two numbers very basic and very understandable right and i also wrote a comment over here because it's a void what is void void means uh, it doesn't return anything and it doesn't have any parameters parameter means inside the bracket it doesn't have any variables or any kind of uh, things that takes that's that is what is the parameters where we use in the next one which we'll talk about it just a little bit after okay so now we are doing the same thing what we did over here instead of uh, this we just putting that and copy pasting over here right and now if we and put it under the start to see now if you go back to unity if you press play you'll see that sum of a plus b is okay forgot sorry about that i forgot to save let's go back again so you'll get like the number of a plus b equals to 15 which is the sum of a plus b right and 
as you see over here right so that's what you do now to make it more more friendly and more easier we can just comment this out and we can comment this out all right and then comment it and comment that now this is a function now this is a function that takes two parameters by the way you can assign as much parameters you want whatever parameters you want it can be integer it can be float any kind of variable any kind of type whatever you want it can be string or whatever right so just for testing purposes over here you're using a float okay so now we have this and it makes it more modular now you can just go over here and assign two numbers for example 20 and 30 and save that and we go back to unity and you will see you will get the result as 50 okay see that's what you get now you can go back again to the code and you can just change it over here instead of looking all the way down there whatever 45 and 55 okay I'll save that then you can go back again now it's 100 so as you see it's very convenient so let us discuss the last and um, last uh, function type over here which is uh, which does return something now let's uh, comment this out okay and uncomment that all right so the last type is a float type you can do int or whatever you want so it returns something when you return by like 20 plus 40 okay for example in a game where you want to see the player has progressed more his level is up he got more hp and things like that maybe is that useful but uh, not that uh, use cases i saw okay most of the time you just use uh, function with parameters and without parameters that's what you use but let's see over here now this is our functions we're just returning the sum of 20 plus 40 then we're going back in the start and we telling a, that float of sum assigning a sum like a variable and storing that uh, function with return and just printing out the sum okay now let us go back to unity again just to try it out let's not forget to save it okay always save your code now if you play you'll get the sum is 60 because 20 plus 40 is 60 okay so that's kind of wraps up the function thing in our next video we're going to discuss about uh, conditional statements uh, the yeah i think i'm going to talk about conditional statements okay and uh, if you found my video useful uh, please tell it to your friends and subscribe give the like button if you did not find it that useful you will feel free to put that dislike button and uh, I want you to keep practicing till then see you around have a good day take care bye